Good afternoon, everyone. Today we are giving the teaching lessons and on the smart uh, elevator system. Now, Mr. Alex is drawing for the diagram of the smart elevator control system. Now, Mr. Alex has finished the drawing of the smart elevator hotel system diagram. Now we are going to for explain because from here we are using two modules and the one of the module is the six channel relay module and this one to control the different button of the elevator and another module and we have is the card reader the smart elevator card reader and through this one the card authentication and then the customer can select it to go to different floor uh, according to the authentication for example if the normal customer he only wanted to go to his room at the second floor and then press the card and he can only press the button to go to the second floor. But there also have some of the customers they wanted to go some for amusement, uh, such like to go swim and go to fitness and for this one. And then when he press this one, and he can not only go to the second floor, he can also go to the basement one and the basement two and for amusement. And from here also the ground floor is free and everybody can press this button to go there because uh, the ground floor is the front desk uh, of the hotel and also for basement two maybe uh, is for parking lot so we are making design and this one is the parking lot so if you get the authentication i can also go to there to park in the car and to take the car to go out of the hotel and now we will go on to do the presentation and then mr alex will show to you how this one is running thank you so much now we are go on for the presentation and to the demo room let's go to the smart club and go to the smart lab action now uh, mr alex has already sit there and we have built a lab for this one demonstration and now firstly i would introduce about the devices that we were being used here first uh, um, this is a card reader this one would inside the elevator to enable the card reader and, and then we have the card and um, this is the ESP6 button and this one uh, is just for um, like the elevator button you, you see we have uh, pressed this one here and um, has been program number one two three and the ground floor and the basement and also in the basement one and the basement two for example, uh, we just uh, use the basement one for amusement for VIP use, and the basement two uh, is just uh, for um, parking lot. And let's go back. And we also have the six channel module of the relay module, and this relay module uh, will be used this one to connect it with 4Z, and then the 4Z to connect it to. Uh, now you see this one is the six channel relay module and this module we have connected to also the 4z and 4z and connected to the nice control and also the bus just to show 
the indicate tune. And also, and uh, we have the ESP and six button, just like the button used in the elevator. Mm -hmm. It has just we have explained now. Now we also have this one, and the black one. You see, this one is the color encoding. We have this one to give authorization and for this card. And okay, we have finished the introduction of all the devices we have been used, and all this one has been connected with SBUS system. And one more thing that you have an option that to setting the card uh, invalid time for that, uh, the validation time. Uh, when the customer enters the elevator and he has five seconds to pass the card, if he not pass the card and this one and cannot work in, uh, Mr. Alex, please wait for five seconds. Okay, and have passed the card also. And then wait for five seconds. Then when pressed, they have no action. So the customer have to enable the card again okay now it's working thank you and then we go next session and mr alex will show us of the smart cloud settings and at later and the smart cloud and the software of the front desk thank you Hello everyone, now I will introduce how to check in the car for the smart uh, elevator system. Okay, so first we need to go to the smart hotel engineer calculation software to check the ID because this one is very important for the programming in the smart cloud. So sure. this is the building one is tower one, right? This is the building ID and this one is the floor ID. So you see this is the first floor is ID is one, second floor is two. So after we know this one, we can go to the smart hotel reception software. This software is for the checking. We come here, we can input the password number. And this is the card mode. Uh, when you insert card to the room in the card holder, it will activate the mode you can program here. And if you no need the VIP function, so you just come to select the room, just like the normal checking, select the room number. This is the nine, right? And you can add, but if the car, uh, if this car also available the VIP area you can select to come here to program okay we decide four area for you to selection so for example we enable this car to go to the basement and also if you want to change the remark you can press here very easy to change the change the remark here so after that we can check in at here So now the car is okay. Thank you. Hello everyone. Now I will introduce how to program in the Smart Cloud. Firstly, you need to upgrade the Smart Cloud to the latest version. Okay. And then this is the ICD card. So, uh, after we enter here, this is the basis information, okay, you can change the remark and here we have the time. Mm, from here, this is the flight weight mode. Uh, here, this is the item is for the mode, uh, you can understand as the floor. So, you can, one, one item for one floor, okay, we can come here, you can enable or disable, and this one is the master ID. Master ID is 
uh, corresponding to the building ID. So we, this is one, it means the building one, tower one, right? And the slave ID, the slave ID just uh, equal to the float ID. Uh, so here we can program to ID2, right? ID2, it means that the floor is the first floor. So after that, uh, we can here you can program when you assess the car, right? If this car is building one floor, uh, first floor, and he can open the relay channel three, he will connect, and after five seconds he will disconnect. That is why when you he assess the car, uh, in five seconds, if he press the button, it works, but after five seconds, the button cannot work. You need to assess the car again. So we can program maybe this one is for the the other plot. Okay, so this is the plot num uh plot ID. And this one is the public move. This is special for the VIP. Okay, we have four area and uh, when we check in the car, we select number four, right? This is the basement. So uh, here we just need to control the lay that connect to the basement. For example, it's channel four, right? And then this one is also after five seconds, he will turn off the relay. So it means that. When the guy assess the car, he can go to the basement, right? And also he can go to the first floor. Thank you.